Hi everyone and welcome to Tatum's Tech Talk. Uh, we've had uh, a couple of episodes now on gearing and carburation and we're now going to move on to the third area that can be uh, manipulated uh, in the pits uh, regarding bike setup and that is the ignition timing. The ignition is uh, located underneath this cover. We see often the guys removing it. I'll do that now and away it goes. And it is like a generator. It actually spins in there, that little flywheel spins in there, generating power that then is transferred to the spark plug. It will come with the ignition actually put in the optimum position by the, the engine tuner from the dyno. But on track, conditions change. And often, to calm the engine down, one way of doing it is actually by changing the ignition timing. Um, it's on three bolts here, and there are slots on the generator itself and if you turn it to the right, like so, and that's plenty, you only have to change it by two or three degrees, you have retarded the ignition, so the engine won't rev quite as much. Or if you turn it to the left, and you actually advance the ignition timing, then the engine will be more inclined to rev a little bit more freely. As I say, sometimes, again, the choice and the feedback from the rider coming in from a race to understand exactly which way to go, that's the clever bit. And if you get that right, all of a sudden the setup of the bike is sweet and the bike uh, is purring away out on track. We often see when guys come out onto the track, you know, they do a little practice start, they've got all their crew around them, and then they come dashing down to this, they remove that case, and they're furiously working away in there, and they're under two minutes. They're under pressure, it really is, and the clock's ticking, rider's nervous, he's then got to trust them to move it the right way, whether it's advancing or retarding, almost like a Formula One pit stop, isn't it, when they really are needing to get the rider on his way around to the tape. So, it is something that can be changed at the last minute. Not always a good sign, but certainly something that can make the difference between winning and losing. So this is the third area. We've got gearing, we've got carburation, and now we've got the ignition timing. It is the three areas that can actually change the setup of the bike. Get the ignition timing absolutely spot on, then you'll get the right results out on track. Very, very important.